Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Hey, hi everyone, it's Kino here. Well, welcome everyone to this guided meditation yin yoga class. We're gonna get started in a comfortable seated position in just a few moments. We'll just give people a few moments to jump online. And as we're waiting, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. This is a really difficult time for many people who are stuck at home. And I hope these live classes bring you just a little bit of peace and happiness in your life today and every day. Tune into the practice and let the practice make your slice of the world just that little bit more happier and more peaceful. And remember, if you're enjoying my live classes, I'd love to see you on omstars.com. You can redeem your 14-day free trial there anytime, and you can practice with me commercial-free. There's a full live class schedule, so be sure to log on to those so that you can get a notification. I'll be going live three times a week with some special events as well. Okay, let's dive into the practice now. So we're gonna start off with the sound OM to initiate the space of practice. And then we'll begin with the seated meditation. And during the meditation, we'll cultivate the framework of mindful awareness. And after the meditation, once we're in a deep, deep space of inner connection, we'll begin with a few moments of guided relaxation and some yin yoga poses, some nice long holds that will let your body heal and restore. This is a great practice to reduce anxiety and to help you reach that inner state of peace and equilibrium. So let's get started. Come to a comfortable seated position any comfortable position will do. You don't need to sit in anything fancy. Even sitting on a chair could be useful. And if your hips are a little tighter or your knees are sensitive, you might think about elevating your hips on a block or on a bolster or pillow or something like that that you might have handy at home. So after you find your comfortable seated position, close your eyes, bring your hands together. Let your hands rest down to any comfortable position, keeping the eyes closed. As your eyes remain closed, your attention naturally drops deeper into the inner awareness. Anchor your mind into this quiet space of introspection with three points of awareness. First, notice your breath, your natural breath. Whatever the pace of your breath is coming in and out of the body, simply be aware of the breath. Notice where you feel the breath. And perhaps noticing the sensation of inhale in the diaphragm, in the low belly, in the chest, somewhere in your body. The feeling of exhale, similarly, somewhere in the body as you feel it. In as you breathe in, out as you breathe out. Whatever thoughts are coming and going in the mind, recognize your thoughts and your emotions, the frequency of thought, the quality and texture of your emotions, and let this be your second point of mindful awareness. Be aware of your thinking. Watch your thinking and how you're feeling. Holding both breath and mind in a field of non-judgment, just observing. Then check in with the physical body. Just notice your body. This is my body and this is how it feels. Whatever sensation seems to arise, simply be aware this sensation has arisen. 
Notice these three realms of mindful awareness, your breath, that ever constant flow of the ingoing and the outflowing breath, changing, ever changing. The texture and quality of your thoughts and your emotions, changing, ever changing. The feeling inside your body, changing, ever changing. As you cultivate the attitude of mindful awareness, you practice equanimity, which means remaining equal or non-judgmental towards whatever arises. Now to give the mind a more specific focal point, bring your attention inside the nostrils along the upper lip, around the rim of the nostrils, and inside your nose. Pause here for a few moments and simply feel your breath here. In as you breathe in, out as you breathe out, in, out. Whatever thoughts, seem to roll through the mind, whether ruminating on the past, projecting into the future, or just finding yourself lost in a daydream. Recognize the thought and then remain concentrated on the breath. As you keep the mind focused on the breath, slowly with practice, the mind calms down. The mind calms down. Let your nervous system calm down. By focusing on the breath in an attitude of equanimity. Similarly, as you bring your attention to the breath, there may be sensations, pleasurable or painful, that arise in the field of the body. As these sensations arise, it is normal for your mind to get distracted by them, to think and feel, where is this sensation? What is this feeling? And should I move? For example, your feet may fall asleep, or you may find an itchy sensation is quite distracting. When this arises in the body, don't deny or repress or suppress it. Just observe, itchy sensation. Feet falling asleep. And then quietly and calmly redirect the mind back to the breath. Return to the breath as kind of your home base of awareness. And each time you come back to the breath, in for the entire length of inhalation, out for the entire length of exhalation, in, out, in, out. As the mind focuses on this single point of attention, the mind calms down, the mind calms down. Even if you notice a very strong emotion arising like an activated trigger bubbling up to the surface, if you cultivate equanimity and keep your attention focused on the breath, the mind will inevitably calm down. The emotions and the nervous system will calm down. Practice remaining non-reactive, reaching for the yogic state of what's called nirodaha, stillness. With each choice to stay focused on your breath, you move deeper into your own inner awareness. 
Keep the mind focused and attentive, aware and full. In as you breathe in, out as you breathe out, over and over again. Notice all of the qualities of your breath whether warm or cool, deep or shallow, however the breath is, just observe breath. In, out, in, out. Whatever is happening in the world around you, whatever is happening in your life around you, here is the simple truth, the eternal truth of life itself that inflowing pace of breath moving in and out of the body. And the constant change, perhaps your breath is deep sometimes, perhaps your breath is shallow sometimes. However your breath is, your job is simply to be aware in the state of awareness there is no judgment there is no rush everything simply is what it is The eternal moment is here, now, in the space between your thoughts, when there is complete unity between your field of awareness and the quality of breath, the total absorption of the mind in the object of attention. Keep it focused inside the nostrils, along the upper lip, around the rim of the nostrils and inside your nose. Breath moving in and out. We'll be here for a few moments, a few more precious moments where you have the chance to slip down under the perpetual frequency of thought stepping into the timeless space of presence, stepping out of the past, out of the future, into the here and now, the simple truth of breath, body and mind, all is well, all is well. Having cultivated a more mindful point of awareness, drop your attention now into the heart center and feel the sternum, the space around the sternum, inside the body at the level of the heart and just be present at the level of the heart. Feel your breath at the level of the heart. Feel your body at the level of the heart. Notice the presence of any emotions which seem to circulate around the heart. Keeping yourself embodied at the level of the heart. Feel the expansive nature of the heart space as though when you feel your body, it seems to be boundaryless at the level of the heart as though there is an expansion outward and that when you breathe in there is a blending of the infinite space around you with the infinite space within you. Stay centered at the heart and feel connection to all beings, all beings. Keeping this mindful space 
of a deep and drop down state of being. Allow yourself a long and deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's softly open the eyes, maintaining that deep space of inner connection. Soften your posture now, and we'll slowly begin to lie down on your back. Open out the legs. Roll the spine gently down, keeping your attention at the heart center. So just stay here for a few breaths, attention deep, quiet at the level of the heart. Having the body relaxed, is the perfect opportunity to practice metta or loving kindness. So feel the heart space and begin to open to the vibration of metta, loving kindness. Planting the seeds in your heart, may I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be filled with love. May I be safe and secure. May I live in harmony with all beings. Stay present at the level of the heart. Then let's slowly bend the knees and the elbows, coming into constructive rest position with your feet a little bit wider than your hips width apart, your knees resting gently into each other, and your sacrum pressed firmly on the ground and the lower back released. Constructive rest position is a wonderful opportunity to let the spine and the body just come back into a state of harmony and coherence. Stay present at the level of the heart. May I cultivate friendship with myself. May I love, honor, and accept myself. May I forgive myself for any shortcomings, mistakes. May I also forgive others for their shortcomings, mistakes. Anyone who has harmed me, I freely pardon. And I hope that they will Pardon me, those whom I may have wronged or harmed consciously or unconsciously. May my body be healthy. Places that are in need of healing, may I be healed. Places that are in need of restoration, may I be fully restored. May I be friends with myself and with all beings. Gently bend the knees up into your chest and just hug the knees in for a moment. You could hold on to your wrists or you could hold on to the knees. You could keep the eyes closed or softly open them unfocusing the eyes if they're open. Feel your body and now let's talk to the body. Hey, my body, I appreciate you. I feel you. I'm aware of you and I thank you. 
Let this simple hold of your knees into your chest be like a warm embrace for the body. Say thank you to your body. Thanks, my body, for always being there for me. Hey, my body, you're good. You're really good. Then let's place the hands on the floor and inhale, lift your legs up. Point the feet. And if you want to make this even more relaxing, you could place your feet up a wall. We'll be here for a couple breaths. Nice and easy. Hands rest anywhere that's comfortable for you. Attention at the heart space again. And we continue planting the seeds of metta deep in the channel of the heart. Call up the image, the presence, and the feeling of someone whom you love dearly, a dear one. It could be a pet, someone who you think, when you think of their presence, it's just a natural flow of love, compassion, and kindness. And to see this person for a moment and send them metta, loving kindness. May you, dear one, may you be happy. It could be your child, your friend, your family member. It could be someone far away who you don't know closely, but whose presence brings you so much joy. May you, dear one, may you be safe and secure. May you feel love kindness and happiness. May you, dear one, may you be healthy, happy, filled with vibrancy and love. May you feel at peace with yourself. Keeping the attention at the heart center, start to open the legs, the reclining straddle position. If you need some support underneath your knees, you can take the hands under the knees. Stay here breathing and feeling. Feel the channel of the heart opening more and more. May you, dear one, may you be happy. I send no worries if it's a little intense, it's all good. Slowly inhale, bring the legs back to the center. Bend the knees and exhale back to constructive rest position. Settle down again for a moment and then find the little comfortable position on your mat. Drop the left leg down and the right knee comes up into the chest and let's hold that for a few breaths. Dropping down a little bit more now we continue our journey through the heart space. Plant the seeds of kindness. Plant the seeds of happiness. Open your heart to your fellow yogis who are practicing with you now. May all these beings who are here with me now, may all be happy. May all be peaceful. May we all be friends, kind to one another. Cross the right knee over, all the way over, finding a comfortable position for your reclining twist, extending your right arm out. Close the eyes. Now there may be a lot physically for you to feel here. So let us connect with one another now and feel 
all that we collectively feel together. May we all be happy. All who need healing in the body may all be healed. May all whom are lonely feel friendship, connection, and love. May all those whom are suffering be free from suffering. May all be healthy, be happy, be peaceful. Inhale, let's come on back to the center. And exhale, let's sink that right leg down. We're gonna switch the sides now. So draw the left knee up and we'll just nice and easy get a firm, comfortable position. Take a moment and drop into the hip joint. Continue feeling your connection with all your fellow yogis. Everyone who is meditating and practicing yoga now those whom are joining us in the same practice and those who are practicing in other spaces, may all these beings be happy, be peaceful, be filled with love. Cross the left knee over to the side. Get comfortable in your easy reclining twist position. Staying there, no pressure, no force, no need to push. Let us all be happy, be peaceful, be in balance. May we all be friends, kind to one another, support one another. May all beings, all yogis come together. Allow yourself a long, deep breath in and roll on back to the center. Bend your knees and again, settle back to constructive rest position. You can gently move your head around and just keep it easy. Now, open the knees to about hips width apart. Then, let's cross the right foot over the left knee, and we have now our reclining pigeon pose. Hang out here for a few breaths. No force, no fight, just breathing, just being. Feel the expansive nature of the heart. And now feel the presence of all of the beings in your city, everyone who's nearby you, your friends, your family members, those whom you know closely, those whom you know distantly, and the many more who you do not know. All the animals in the city, the wild animals, the cherished pets, and just hold them in your heart space for a moment. May we all be happy, be peaceful, be happy, be peaceful. Draw the legs up into the body and find a comfortable space to hold, maybe around and underneath the left knee staying there, potentially even straightening the leg if it feels right for you, or keeping it bent if that's easier. Just stay here for a moment. Feeling your hips and not forcing the hips. Practice that state of loving kindness towards your own body in spaces of difficulty 
and maintain that open-hearted connection to all beings, those whom are practicing together with us now, those whom are nearby in your city, and all beings in the world. Spend that left knee back, drop it down, and come on back to constructive rest. We're gonna do the other side. So let's drop the left leg over and just stay there feeling, breathing for a few moments. There's no need to force or fight. There's so many things that the mind can get distracted towards. Planting the seeds of happiness and kindness is like planting the seeds in the garden of your heart and mind. Take this chance to let the mind calm down and let the nervous system come into a deep space of balance. As the body is resting on the ground, the muscles relax. Draw the right knee up into the chest, holding under, potentially straightening the leg if that feels right for you. And again, just feeling the hips, taking a moment, making peace with yourself, peace with all that is. May all these beings in the city near me those whom are happy, those whom are suffering, may all be safe and secure. May all beings in my city, including myself, may all be peaceful, be happy, be filled with love. Slowly bend the right knee and drop all the way down back to constructive rest position. Then let's roll over to the side and inhale, come all the way back up and come over onto your hands and knees. Staying on the hands and knees for a few moments. Keep it nice and easy, no fight, no force. Exhale back to child's pose. Drop through the hip joints. Keep it nice and easy. Let the breath be long and deep. Shoulders rolling open, no place to go, nothing to do, just here and now. Long, steady breaths, resting the mind, resting the body. Let the nervous system drop down as your mind and your heart move into coherence. Inhale, let's slowly come up from child's pose. Walk the knees a little bit back, walking the hands a little bit forward, and exhale the puppy pose. Top of the head towards the ground, coming up on the fingertips to better release through the shoulders. We'll stay for five deep breaths. Feel the heart center, the breath at the level of the heart, the physical body at the level of the heart and cultivating that open field of compassion, planting the seeds of loving kindness at the level of the heart. Slow, steady, deep breaths. Feel what you feel, no fight, no force. Just be here, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Flatten the hands. Let's lift the head up and walk the hands back. 
Curl your toes under and inhale back to downward facing dog. Bend your knees for a moment, then inhale it straight in the legs. We'll stay here for five breaths. Feel the heart center, feel the breath moving in and out of the body, keeping the mind steady and calm. Long, deep breaths. Almost there, let's do one more breath. Switching your gaze forward, let's step your right foot forward and come down onto the left knee. Then, nice and long, slowly and softly come up for the lunge or Anjanayasana, and we'll stay here for a little bit opening the front of the pelvis and expanding the heart center. Stay here breathing and feeling, breathing and feeling. Careful not to push on the knee, but just to let it be. Stay here with breath, body, mind, keeping a steady focus on the inner world, expanding the heart more and more outward, and exhale, placing the hands down. Inhale, back to downward facing dog. Stabilize again, then we switch the sides. Inhale, step the left foot forward, the right knee down. Take a moment and work that right hip into a space of relaxed, calm awareness. Inhale, slowly rise up. And taking the hands to the knee, we'll stay here for a few breaths. Nice and easy. Feel the heart space expand. To keep the attention at the heart, you may even take a hand here. Continue cultivating that open field of compassion. All is well, I'm okay. All is well, everything is okay. All is well, everything is okay. Slowly take the hands down. Step on back to your hands and knees, a tabletop position. Hold it here just for a moment. And then let's walk the legs a little bit in, cross your feet, and let's gently sink down. Now, cross the right knee over the left, stacking the knees on top of each other. And we'll just stay here, breathing, feeling for a few breaths. Hands on the knees and the eyes closed. Continue that expansion outward at the level of the heart. Feel the presence of all your fellow yogis who are practicing with you now. Feel the presence of all the beings in your city and expand even more outward. All the beings in your country, wherever you are practicing in the world every being in your whole country. Those whom are at home, those whom are out working, the old and the young, all the human beings. Feel the presence of all the animals, the little cats, the cherished pets like dogs and birds and all the other pets. Feel the presence of all these beings, beings of the air, beings of the land, beings of water, dolphins, and other sea creatures. Feel this presence and your connection outward. Feel the oneness through the level of the heart. Holding that vibration, slowly soften your posture and let's switch the sides. 
Nice and easy, take the time to resituate yourself and place the hands back on the knees, settle in and close your eyes. May all beings in my country, may all be happy. May all be peaceful. May all be friends. May all beings in my country, may all live in harmony. May all work together as friends, equals. May all be kind, generous, and compassionate to one another. May all beings in my country be free from anger, free from anxiety, free from ill will. May all be safe and secure. May I live in harmony with all these beings. Feel the heart space open, expansive and infinite. And allow yourself a deep and conscious breath in. And as you exhale, slowly come on out crossing the legs to a comfortable seated position. I've got two yoga blocks over there and we're gonna use them for one last hold before we take final rest. If you don't have yoga blocks, a few pillows will do pretty much just as well. So let's grab your yoga blocks and position them the long way pointed towards the pelvis, the tall way pointed in the direction up in line with the head Let's get them in position. You might need to adjust it a little as you move back. Then slowly rest your back on the long way of the block and rest your head on the tall version of the block. If your block is very pointy, you may want to rest something soft on top of it or even use a bolster. Then let's slowly and quietly stretch out the legs and rest. Now as the heart is in its most expansive position, Open your heart to all beings in the whole world, every country speaking every language, all the animals of the whole world, every continent, every country, those countries whom you know closely, those countries whom you've never been to, all different religions and cultures connected by the simple thread of our humanity. All the animals in the whole world, the cherished pets who are cared for and loved. All the wild animals roaming freely. All the beings of the air, the birds, the bees, the butterflies. All the beings of the sea, the dolphins, the whales, and all the other sea creatures. All the human beings. May all these human beings, our whole world, may all be happy, be peaceful. Be happy, be peaceful. May all beings in the whole world, may all live in harmony. 
May all be friends. None are enemies. All are friends. None are enemies. May all beings be safe and secure. May all beings be safe and secure. May all be free from anxiety, ill will, and animosity. May all beings be happy, be peaceful. May our world be healed, all those whom are sick. May all those whom are sick and suffering be healthy, be happy. Reach for that positive view of the world in harmony, in peace, and in love. Softly bend the knees, pressing gently into the elbows to move your blocks over to the side. Then exhale, lie all the way down. Feel the heart center now, soft, open, vulnerable, but also connected intimately with all beings. At the level of the heart, feel that presence of oneness. I am one with all things and all beings. You might find yourself dro dozing off, drifting to sleep. And if that happens, feel welcome to continue sleeping and just rest your mind and your body as you circle down, down, down. Understand that the body is healing now. The mind is healing now. The heart is healing now. Then allow yourself a long and deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's slowly move your hands and feet. Bend the knees and the elbows. Just rest here for a moment. And draw the knees up into your chest. And let's roll over onto the side. Come on back up to a comfortable seated position, your eyes closed. Attention at the heart center. Feel the presence of love, compassion, and goodwill. Everything you've offered towards others returns to you tenfold. Feel that presence of love, of light, deep within. Hands in prayer. deep breath in and as you exhale softly opening the eyes thanks so much for joining everyone namaste thanks for joining the practice everyone i really appreciate it there are going to be live classes um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 
Tuesday is relatively simple or accessible, maybe not simple, kind of challenging flow class. Thursdays are going to be chill like this, meditation, yin, restorative. And then Saturdays, full primary series, which we'll have fun with. And that will be the most challenging class. If you're traditional Ashtangi, I recommend you come to that one. And I hope to see you here online and in the practice. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here. It's totally free. All these videos are also going to be on omstars.com, which is my online channel. And you get a free 14-day free trial. So please feel welcome to sign on. You can watch the videos all there, commercial free. And 3,000 of my other classes or other classes we've got from me and some of the world's best teachers. If you have any questions or things like that about the practice that have come up, please feel welcome to leave me a comment or send me a message. If you have any requests for what you want the classes to focus on, leave me a comment and question about that too. Otherwise, I really just appreciate you joining. It feels really meaningful to keep the connection to our global yoga community, even in times when we're advised to self-isolate and be by ourselves, to feel the connection is deeply meaningful. So keep practicing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.